Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a complete beginner's guide for Tower Defense X. So let's get right into this. So whenever you first load into the game, you'll spawn in with only one troop, which is the Ranger right here. So if it's not already equipped, make sure to click on this little shop icon and equip it. So once you have this, all these other troops right here will actually cost gold. Of course, you can buy the starter pack, and then that will give you this and this, I believe. But most people don't buy that, so you'll start off with only one of these. But whenever you spawn into the game after you have that equipped just turn over here to the right and then you'll see all the maps so these maps they have difficulties such as easy normal and hard these are the difficulties of the maps these aren't the difficulties of the game such as if you go in there the game you can still select like easy medium or hard mode in the game this is just the difficulty of the map so see this map right here easy that means like easy map this map says hard so that means there's probably less spots to like place your troops so that is what makes it difficult and up here at the top you can see how many people are currently in there so you'll see that i'm the only person in here right now so i'm actually gonna hop out so if you only have the ranger then i would probably recommend joining someone else's thing such as this one easy map i'll go ahead and join these people over here because since i only have one troop these people are gonna kind of carry me until you get more troops i recommend just joining other people because it's very unlikely that you're gonna win with only rangers i mean pretty sure it's possible but it's very unlikely and once we're in here most people just choose easy because even with, like the best troops in the game intermediate mode and all this other stuff is still pretty difficult so you go ahead and select your difficulty click begin and you have to wait for everyone if not everyone votes then this timer up here goes off and then it automatically starts so once we're in here you'll see your troops at the bottom how much they cost and you'll also see this little dollar icon that's how much money you have so we have 775 so this little blue circle is how far that your troop can reach if it's red that means you can't place it there if it's blue it means you can so this is the radius of this troop we have upgrades on the side also for these upgrades you do have to choose a pathway you can upgrade two on each but then once you go past that it like kind of forces you to choose an upgrade so we're just going to do this bottom one right here i think the bottom one is pretty good to start out with because it like doubles the damage and increases the range so it's pretty good so you get money every round but you also get money from your troops like damaging the opponents so i do recommend placing it kind of towards the beginning over here so you have a health bar at the top so if these people go on the circle and make it all the way around towards the middle over here then we will lose hp and if the, our hp reaches zero then we do lose so yeah, let's go ahead and keep upgrading our troop though so you can upgrade two on top two on bottom for all of them but then once you go past that you do have to choose a pathway and this is why i recommend joining other people whenever you don't have too many troops because as you can see this is my troop right here in green and yellow these are these people's troops so i would have probably already like lost if i only had one troop and i was doing this solo just because you need like at least two rangers but i'm not that good yet so i need to go ahead and join other people so they can do that and also if you do lose you still gain money but you just don't gain as much if you're winning and we can also upgrade this dude again so over here as you can see we have two on top two on bottom you don't have to do it in this order we can upgrade just like three on top if we want to but then once we click this right here you'll see that the bottom pathway is locked and if we upgrade the bottom pathway then the top pathway would be blocked also by the way whenever you're placing your troops i recommend you place them so they cover like multiple paths so they cover as much path as possible as you can see my troop covers right here over here and then also whenever they go back around my troop also covers this little area over here which this is actually a really good map because as you can see the whole map is just like a small circle so it, wherever we place our troop is going to have like tons of radius and it's going to cover a lot of the track so i pretty much just recommend doing this placing keep placing rangers and probably upgrading them through on top through on bottom and then you can like upgrade them later in the game once you get more money but just make sure you place down rangers and then just repeat this joining people winning games until you get enough coins to go ahead and buy this dude right here the rocket person this person is really good it will carry you in like every single game so as you can see it's starting to get pretty stacked right here which i actually can't save them so i'm gonna just skip the wave to get some wave money so yeah i can't really save them right here until i get enough money for my rocket person which actually speaking of that i'll go ahead and sell this so save up enough gold until you get this rocket person you won't have them equipped but you get gold from playing games so after you play enough games you'll get enough gold to buy this person right here and this person is really good this is pretty much all you need to like solo easy mode because he's just really good as you can see he's just absolutely demolishing those people and for this i do two on bottom and then i just upgrade the top completely and also the range on this dude is really good and those people did get out of the circle but these rangers over here should finish them off once they do go ahead and do a second round so the troops that i recommend buying is starting off with the ranger and then saving up enough gold until you're able to buy this rocket launcher person right here because he's really good and then after you buy the rocket launcher i would probably recommend buying this this is a farm so if you go ahead and place it down every now and then we'll go ahead and get crates so whenever you place this upgrade two on top just like this and then fully upgrade the bottom so every now and then a crate will drop from the sky and this will collect 
it and it will give us some cash such as right there there we go 120 cash so 120 cash per wave we need to upgrade this to increase how much we get and yeah these farms are really good especially whenever other people are helping you because you don't even have to worry about the enemies because they're taking care of it and then over here you can just farm cash on the side so it's really good and let's go ahead and upgrade this dude again also every now and then there are troops that are like semi-invisible and for your troops to be able to kill those semi-invisible people they have to have this little thing right here this little icon which how you do that is you can upgrade them so to get that on the ranger you do three on top and that is how you unlock this little thing right there and then for this one you do two on bottom three on top and as you can see right there there's a little eye that says stealth detection so whenever we go ahead and upgrade this it will be able to see those semi-invisible people those people are fine because they weren't semi-invisible but some of them are so if you go ahead and upgrade this there we go more range and then after you get the farm i would probably recommend getting this thing right here so this you place it around your troops and it increases the range like crazy so if we go ahead and place this down this gives a five percent fire rate buff five percent range buff and it's really good and we can go ahead and upgrade its buffs right here so if you go ahead and upgrade this now 10 percent so i usually do two on bottom and then max out the top and it's really good because this dude can only cover this much space but once i go ahead and upgrade this person over here more this person should pretty much cover the entire map so let's go ahead and upgrade this right there and as you can see right here this person is semi-invisible so regular people wouldn't be able to see them if they weren't like fully upgraded so that is why we have those and also i do recommend placing multiple of the rocket troops because one is like not enough if you're planning on soloing it you have to like place multiple of these at the beginning because one is not enough to deal with the entire thing so what i recommend doing is upgrading two on top two on bottom and then grabbing a new one but if you're doing this solo then you probably have to place both of these at the same time just so you don't like get caught behind and then after you buy this person right here i would probably recommend grabbing this juggernaut person i think that's his name either juggernaut or minigunner but let's place this down yep juggernaut because this person is really good he absolutely lasers everything especially bosses this person is really good for bosses so i do recommend getting this person right here so let's go ahead and upgrade this person also by the way you won't have all these people on your first game i'm just saying once you like play multiple games these are the people that i recommend buying with your gold because they're really good so start off with the ranger then the rocket person then the farm then this person right here and then the juggernaut and then after that you can pretty much buy whatever i personally use this freeze person right here because this person can actually freeze bosses if you get the max upgrades on the bottom row and as you can see once we upgrade this person again 10 percent fire buff and then plus five percent on the range buff and then it unlocks this ability right here not really sure what it does but let's just go ahead and click it so i think that just makes these troops like super powerful just for a few seconds during the last two waves which is wave 24 and wave 25 because it only goes up to 25 waves you get so much money like it's crazy how much money you get so for this juggernaut right here for the max upgrade which this is 14,000, but after this they upgrade it is 60,000. so that may seem like a lot but you get so much money during the last two waves especially if you have both missile troops right here they're really good let's actually go ahead and upgrade this dude again so whenever the final boss comes in it can actually stun your troops if it throws items at them so for the juggernaut person right here the max upgrade on the bottom is actually stun immunity which is really good and also this dj person right here can actually help your teammates troops so if i place this right here i can actually go ahead and upgrade this just to help their troops so there we go that will help them quite a bit and here's the boss right here though and as you can see right here my troops are just lasering them so the boss does spawn in other troops so those are what the missiles are for but for my juggernaut right here i, I made it target the strongest troop so as you can see my juggernaut is just lasering it then once the boss moves down if our troops go out of range so once the boss rocks down over here i'm actually gonna sell my juggernaut because see so i'll go ahead and let it laser him for a little bit more but then i'm gonna sell my juggernaut because he's now out of range and then i'm gonna place a new one over here and then just upgrade it like crazy so there we go and all these people should start attacking it soon once it goes ahead and reaches this area so i'm also gonna well actually i'm not gonna sell these people because they're still in range so i'll just make sure your troops are in range and i do have more money so i'm gonna place another one right here and then just upgrade it to the max and there we go we just won easy win these rounds do take quite a while 15 minutes but as you see we got some gold right there we got some xp and let's go ahead and return back to the lobby and once again the troops that i recommend getting starting off with this one right here and then buy the missile troop after you buy the missile troop buy the farm after the farm the dj after the dj this person right here and then after this person you can buy whatever i personally use this one though and then i'll probably recommend these maybe later on after i do go ahead and unlock those and yeah that's a complete beginner guide for tower defense x though so that's gonna be all for this video so go ahead and leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video